Hallelujah for all you've done for me. I am grateful, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him the praise on tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you. We thank you for every little and every big, hallelujah, every God-sized miracle he's done in our lives. I know each and every one of you sitting here tonight has a testimony, hallelujah, that man can't say they put their hands in it, hallelujah. It was only God. It was only God. It was only God, hallelujah. It was only him, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to switch up the pace a little bit. Hallelujah. We're going to hear a different type of worship on tonight. I'm inviting a young man up. Hallelujah. I don't want to say how long I've known him because I might embarrass myself a little bit. <laughs> but it's been such a pleasure to watch him grow and mature. I remember the days where he just made it to church <laughs> because our parents said, Get in the car. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God has been using him, even to fool's ministry. God opened up doors in the church for him to find his interest. So God will find you where you are. Hallelujah. If you allow yourself to be open, God will find you at your exact location. He knows your address. He knows your name and your social security. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but I've watched him from even a small little ministry, which seemed like a small thing, and he was faithful over it, just opening up breakfast Sunday mornings for different ones in the church. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. And God continued to use him on there. And now, today, we can call him. I know there's a little blood warning, but God is in control. Amen. We can't Amen. stop the blood. But him, he's the king of the blood. Amen. Amen. And God would use him so much so that today we can call him Deacon Nelson. And hallelujah. My brother, on the night, it's such a pleasure. It's such a pleasure to share the stage with him as we both are worshiping and giving him glory. Amen. So I welcome my brother, Deacon Nelson. God bless you, sis. And uh, to all those who are here tonight who so love my God and called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, I thank God for the opportunity to be here in your presence and to be before the throne of God. It's uh, grace Amen. and mercy. Amen. And I absolutely owe it all to him. Um, you know, I was uh, minister Dada, is it? Yes. God bless you. I believe we have the same spirit because what you said in your intro was exactly what I was thinking on my way here, what the, what the Lord was revealing to me on the way here. So absolutely praise, we praise God for that. Yes. Um, you know, uh, the date for this event was a different date. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. It was a different date and um, it was changed to September 1st, obviously. And uh, first of the month, new seasons. So God was saying new seasons, right? Everything is for a season. You know, and we thank God for that. And, um, you know, I was in the comfort of my home with my family, relaxing. And um, I had to get ready and uh, get in the car and come here, of course. And um, we have an old car, a 2002 Honda Civic. And by the grace of God, we also have a new car, a 2021 Honda Pilot. And, um, you know, one technically belongs to me. <laughs> you know, you're married. And you this shit, wife. <laughs> right? So I said, I'm going to get into my car, my old car, and drive here. My wife said, no, no, no. Get into the Honda Aww. Island and drive here. And, um, you know, something in me was like, no, I want to get into my car and drive here. <laughs> you know, I mean, that resistance, right? Unfortunately, we have that. We have that resistance. God tells us something. We have that resistance. We want to do it our way. But um, thank God for when the Spirit tells you, hey, Listen, this is what you need to do and you obey. Amen. Thank God for that because as I'm driving, I'm like, I would have never made it here in my car. I would have never made it here. <laughs> 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 the wipers are just finished. I should have changed them. And I, and I did it. You know, I'm like, I would never have made it. So I thank my wife for that. Okay. Um, absolutely. Yeah. And um, just driving here comfortably, you know, in the rain and the storm, yes. driving here comfortably. Why? Because I said yes. 
I was in agreement with what the plans were, what the plans were. And I'm driving here comfortably. You know, the rains are coming down and it's not really facing me, you know, and I'm going kind of not weaving in and out of lanes, but getting into respective lanes and out of them, no problem. And I'm knowing like, if I was in my vehicle, I would have probably pulled over and called my sister, Pastor Fedora, and said, listen, um, I can't make it, you know, unless this rain cease, I can't make it. But I agreed and I'm, I'm driving without a problem. And, and um, it's September 1st, brand new season, right? A new season and, and, and there's storm though, but we're driving through the storm in this new season, right? But, but comfortably, why? Because there was obedience, there was obedience, right? And, 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 and I finally arrived here. I finally arrived. And so many things as I was driving going through my mind. The Lord's like, listen, hear this, hear this, hear that. Look at this, look at that. And, um, you know, when I get here, it's pouring rain, you know, and um, I'm just like, what am I going to do? There's like nothing in the car. I have like a little shirt in my, in my bag that I use. But um, it's like, you, you're going to have comfort in the storm, but there's a time where you have to get out. Yeah. You have to get out and, 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 and face a little bit of the turmoil mm -hmm. in order to get to another safe haven. Yes. Another in order to be with the saints, right? Yes. In order to worship in spirit and in truth with the saints, mm -hmm. sometimes you're gonna have to do that. And that's what happened. And as I'm driving, I'm thinking, and I'm like, you know, seasons, seasons, it's yeah. a new season. Autumn begins this month, right? Yeah. New seasons, and I'm just thinking about how. This life is a season, yeah. right? Yeah. It's just for a season. And, and, and unfortunately, there are those who do not know Christ yet. Right. And, 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 and not accepting the reality that this life is a gift and it's for a season. Yeah. And, and the next life is eternal. Yes. That is a profound thing. The next life is eternal. Yeah. So what you do in this season dictates where you spend your eternity, yes, right? It dictates where you spend your eternity. So, I, and I was thinking about, you know, um, uh, the court system, you know, when you get a ticket, right, you got to go to see the judge and you got to pay a fine sometimes. And sometimes if your situation is worse than that, you may have to do time. And whatever the judge says, it goes, right? And I remember there was a time where I went to court and um, I see quite a few people who had moving, um, Violations, right? Moving violations to a very serious point in your license, license revoked, sometimes jail time, um, depending on what you did. And the judge is like, I give you a parking, I lower it to a parking ticket. I lower it to a parking ticket. And in my mind, right, because we I know so much because I guess I'm a lawyer or something like that. I'm like, this is corruption. How do you bring this down to it? This is corruption. But had it been me, I would have been like, oh, thank you for grace. Or had it been like, thank you for grace. But I'm, I'm like, this is this is wrong, yeah. right? But this is the judge, right? He's part of the judicial system, right? He can do legally lower your fine. He can legally take your fine away, right? And it's the same thing. We resist God. Some the, the, the ones who don't know Christ have resisted. The, the word of God says that they're actually hostile towards God. And, and we think about it like how often are people hostile towards, towards the judge? Right. That's rare, right? If you've ever even seen it happen, that's very rare. But 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 as man, we're hostile. The non-believer, the one who doesn't know Christ, is hostile towards God. Right. But yet the judge won't be hostile towards a, a, a mere mortal just like us. And um, you know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm thinking about this. And God is like, yeah, it's the same concept. I can legally take away yeah. what you owe. Because man has earned death. We have done everything in our power, right? Even outside of Adam and Eve, right? The original sin. We do everything in our power to solidify going to hell. We do everything in our power. But God, the judge, can legally take that away yes, through belief in Jesus Christ. Yes. He has that authority. Yes. It's, it's his will, in fact, yes. right? And, and I was thinking, like, you know, my mother has helped me out quite a few times with the, you know, court issues and stuff. And, um, you know, I, I never said to my mom, no, no, I got it. Don't, don't pay it. I'll, I'll handle it. I've, I've taken it. I've taken the help in hand. Yes. Say, thank God, you know? So, so if I were to say, no, mom, don't pay this. I declined the offer. So Jesus Christ came and died a horrible death 
And so many people decline the offer. Yeah. They say, no, 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 no. Yeah. I want to take what I earn. Yeah. I want to take what I earn. But he's like, no, no, I'm pleading with you. And this is this is our job as saints, right? To let them know that. I'm pleading with you. I came down to die. I took the payment for you. Right. But you're saying, no, I decline. I, I rather pay the penalty on my own. The penalty that is not a season, but it is eternal. And the and, um, Lord, Lord put this um, in my heart and in my mind. It was written that I'm going to share with you uh, quite some time ago. And I feel like it was all coming together. And it was all for a reason for leading up to this purpose and giving that word. Right? Life is for a season. The next life is eternal. What you do here dictates where you spend the rest of your life. Christ has died, taking on the punishment that we deserve, that we earn. But too many people are saying, no, thank you. Yeah. I, I want to take on what I earn. Right. No, thank you. So we, so we pray yes, Jesus. for the non-believer yes, to come to understand that this beautiful invitation that is sent out right through the blood of Christ, that the non-believer would say, you know what? I need this. I need this because I cannot withstand hell. And, and we know that the power of God goes beyond hell. It helps us in this very life that we're living. Yes. So for anyone who does not know Christ, you are, what the Bible says, hostile towards God. We're sinners by nature. Yeah. And the wages of sin, meaning you earned sin, you earn death by being a sinner. But Christ, in his love and in his forbearance, came down in the form of flesh and died on your behalf. If you were to believe in that death, yes, amen. you will have everlasting life. Yes, the power of his blood is enough. His love is enough. caused him to come down yes. and is enough amen. by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So let me, let me share this with you. Let me impart this with you. And I pray that the, the saints are... Uh, uh, moving by this in the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God is number one, but he gave us a son. A son who lived a servant, but do we know where he's from? A king who left his throne in heaven and look what he's done. Left his royal place to suffer and save us as one. We were not meant to live, but still he grafted a sin. Wicked and evil in our hearts, we deserve punishment. Merciful is the Son of God because we should be condemned. Put to death for our wrongs, our sins, the very nature of men. Instead, he suffered to die so that we the sinners may live. He was not found guilty, but still they did what they did. A sacrifice eternal that everlastingly gives. They beat him until it was unrecognizable, the price of our sins. Ripped and torn in his flesh with gross, bloody wounds. He withstood the torment of hands that skillfully bruised, revealing his kidney and lungs, bleeding eternally too. Nailed to a cross until his life he didn't lose. All this because he chose to forgive. But we treat one another like our Christ doesn't live. Mm. Like we're without sin or mine is better than his. Did he give up his life so that we need not forgive? Mm. Hate in our hearts, jealousy and envy is gain. All that he's done for us. Was it in vain? The weeping, the sorrows, the cries, the heartache and pain. Why hasn't he forsaken us when we forsake each other? It's because he's not the same. God of the world, he suffered to die. I look within myself and I wonder why. I am not good by any stretch of the mind. So why die for me? Nothing or nobody, a sinner of I. Fornication, gluttony, deception, adultery, murder, coveting, and lust. Sometimes all these imperfections are in my heart at once. When I think of what I'm made of, the lake of fire is a must. But the depth of his grace he sees me as holy in my repentance, of course. So how can I not love you when he loves me with my baggage? Sin after sin, day after day, hasn't he had it? After all, I'm the biggest, the sickest, the baddest. I say Jesus this, Jesus that, running his name ragged. But in spite of all I put him through, he still forgives your patience. Yeah. We act like we can live with Latino, American, Chinese, and Haitians. Oh, Jesus man. sees the same altogether from different nations. So very deprived and prejudiced your pagans. Don't be dismayed. The price has been paid. His life has been laid. Goes back in three days. So change your ways. Accept and be saved. My God is number one, and so is the Son. And let's praise. Wow. Wow. So he did to him. I did it to she. Yes. 
But she went to him, I never learned from me. Yeah. Who's to blame? Is it Adam and Eve? Don't be deceived by the devil's disease. Don't seek vengeance on man for what's worth. Praise God, hallelujah, it's the devil we curse. Be aware of the fire and the gnashing of the teeth. The spirit could be willing, but the flesh is weak. Once upon a time, those lives were for the world, but now he does it for the Father. Hallelujah. And now we're all blessed. Hallelujah. My soul is blessed right now. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. And I thank God for taking you. Hallelujah. God is calling in to be a, pre a preacher, Pastor. Well, you don't want to hear it yet. But do we hear the pastor in him? The evangelist? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.